Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to make this Elena of Avalor costume. So if you want to learn how, keep on watching. So I made this pattern by tracing an existing dress. And for this project, I'm actually going to use this oversized t-shirt. And I'm just going to cut it in half so I can open it up and place my patterns. Now I'm going to place the pattern on fold. I'm just going to pin it to place and I will cut it out. For the back pieces, I have to cut two pieces because I didn't have enough fabric. And then I'm just going to sew it together just like this. And here I am saving as much fabric as I could so I can make a ruffle for the shoulder. For the skirt portion, I am going to use this white pillowcase. And then I'm going to trim the top and the bottom of the pillowcase. Now I'm going to sew the front and back bodices. Make sure that the right sides are facing each other. And I'm just going to sew the side seams and the shoulder seams. I'm going to do a basting stitch on this white fabric so I can gather it later on to fit the bodice. Then I will lightly gather the fabric, just like so. Be careful not to break the thread. Now that it fits on the bodice, I'm going to stop right here. I have the other fabric for the skirt. Now I'm just going to place this white fabric right on the middle of this red fabric. And I will wrap it around. Essentially, you would want to gather these two pieces together, but I totally forgot to do that. So I just kind of wrap it on the white fabric, just like this, and I will pin it to secure. And I'm going to sew together. And then I'm going to sew it all the way around, making some ruffles as I go. Now it's time to add this bias tape. At the end of the fabric, I ended up cutting it into a curve like this. And then I'm going to sew it all the way around. Now it's time to sew the bodice and the skirt together. So I'm going to place the bodice inside the skirt. Right sides are facing each other. And I'm going to match the side seams and then pin it to secure. And then I'm going to sew it all the way around. And it should look something like this. It's looking really good. Now it's time to make the ruffle for the shoulder. I'm going to make a long strip of fabric here. I'm just going to cut it straight. And later on, I am going to make a casing so I can feed an elastic in the ruffle. And then after I made the ruffle, I place it on the neckline 
on the right side of the fabric and I just hand stitch it. I also added the same bias tape on the edge of the ruffle just to give it more length because I did not have enough fabric. So that's it for today and I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it if you can. That will just help me to spread the word about my channel. Don't forget to subscribe as well. I upload every Monday and Friday. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!